If you want to join the Mochurf server, well, here's your chance. Down in the description below, I have left the link to a Google form where you can fill it out for a chance to be invited to Season 2. Make sure you pay attention because at the end there is a mini quiz and you must get 70% or more to pass. I will only pick three people, so the people who fill it out first have a higher chance of getting accepted. All forms will be accepted until March 12, 2018, and after that, no more will be accepted. Since the last time you saw it, I said Rules Tower was complete except for the top. Now I finished the top, and it looks okay. Um, I added, like, the ceiling for, like, the wood and stuff, and I also added, like, the very top top with the uh, brown terracotta. And although you probably won't be working up there today, it is about time to start working on the actual floors. Now, a little update about Rules Tower. Luke has purchased a floor, and he's using it. Um, with full diamonds, he's not a VIP member, unfortunately. Uh, to recap, um, about the floor plan, um, I think it was the part two of Rules Tower where I released the image. I am going to make a few small changes. So, obviously, the first two layers are lobbies, layers, floors. These two are going to be shops. Then, this is Luke's new apartment. Um, I think right above that is Holden's, I'm not sure. Actually, no, right above Luke's apartment is a blank apartment because they only bought one floor Holden's two apartments are up there so basically um, these two are unoccupied I'm I actually have no idea we're gonna go check anyway um you probably bought the wrong one the above Holden is let me check there's really nothing above Holden it's just unoccupied spaces really so we got a plan on what we're gonna do there and in the thing, in the picture I released, um, the top floor, the very top floor was my penthouse. Below that was a secure storage system, and the two be and the yeah, the two below that were casino rooms. I'm gonna make a few small changes. The top two floors are going to be my um, penthouse because I'm just gonna combine them. Uh, here's Luke's apartment. He has he's actually been doing a great job on it it looks okay and yep he does have another portal I heard he did he says it's supposed to be offices so good job Luke um, I don't know what tutorial found on the internet but it looks good so this is all Luke stuff um then what do we have here oh nothing uh, blank space blank room and another blank room yes so I probably some mishaps this is Holden's floor right here that he has yet to build actually Yep, this, this is his floor because it's a creeper. Um, this is his public floor. And then, from here on out, it's all blank. Today, we are going to be working on the shops and the casino and the casino floor ball lab. Not lab. Restaurant. What am I doing? And the two above that are going to be my penthouse. So, what we're probably going to do for the casino is not build any of the real actual games yet. Like, not all of it, I mean. Yeah, so this is my penthouse here. This is going to be my penthouse as well. This is going to be the casino. And this is going to be the restaurant with, like, the tables. And we're going to have the Christmas dinner. It's going to be all awesome. But, before we build any of this... Oh, actually, we're going to build the shops first. And then, we're going to build the elevator, my friends. Now, the elevator, I have mentioned, it's not going to be too advanced, but it's not going to be it's just a minecart. It is going to use pistons, and I'm going to have to design one myself, but you've probably seen a similar design somewhere on the interweb, and it should work. Um, basically, what it's probably going to be two buttons each floor. One brings you down, one brings you up, so you have to manually like keep on pressing that button. And obviously, there's some floors, like private floors, and VIP floors that will have to be skipped and it should be all good so I I, I we're gonna work on the uh, shop floors that could which is going to be three and four because it's not gonna take too long we're just like making out plots and like labeling them and pricing them and they're all gonna be the same and yeah that that's about it and my bed is not here uh oh, uh, I think I left it over at the naval base, but whatever. Um, so we're gonna go sleep over here, and I'm just going to quickly do the shops. So I came up with a half decent layout, which is a bit uneven. Like uh, each each um plot is it's like a small bit different, but I made the payout fair. So the smallest one is eight by eight, 
64 square blocks, uh, four diamonds. This costs a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this is eight, so it's a square, so you get 64 blocks worth of space. Now, these granite blocks here, uh, is which I'm using to border them for now, because it's relatively available, is like within it's not like the border like people like if someone buys this you can break this granite and build your own wall here so um don't get confused by that um the next one which i don't i think this 72 yeah no, so this is the medium sized one it, it is a bit uneven i'm sorry 8 by 9 72 square blocks which is five diamonds so one diamond more so one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight nine so you have this plot uh, which is 72 square blocks and it cost a bit more because there's eight more square blocks but don't don't worry about that and this one's a bit tricky for me to explain it's nine by nine so basically one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine it's nine by nine but that's not 81 square blocks. It's actually 76 because you're you you have this thing right here. So if this thing wasn't here, it would be 81 square blocks. But you're losing one, two, three, four, five. You you're you're losing some blocks. So I subtracted that, and you know what? I think I subtracted five. Yeah, I did subtract five. It should. I think it's 75 square blocks, not 76. I think I'm not sure. Um, I mean, you you're not able to break the glass anymore. But yeah, that that's the tricky part. This one I can't really like make it the diamonds any more accurate. So it's five diamonds and two iron because so it's like a small bit bigger than this. And that's what I have. So what we're literally going to do is mirror this over here and then copy this to this floor. That's literally it. Six shops. Um, I originally wanted to have like shops in the middle as well. But if you think about it, there's going to be 12 shops. There's not even 12 players on the Mocharf server. So, well, who actively play anyway? So it shouldn't take too long. Holden already has, like, his public sh um, floor is already a shop. So that he might not even buy one. Who knows? So, really, we just have to place it. I have absolutely no more signs left. Um, So I'm going to place all this back, and I'm going to meet you in my redstone testing world because we're going to build a freaking elevator. Oh boy, the um, the elevator was a bit of an interesting design. So first I took my hands at building my own, and I did get a functional one, and it did work, but it definitely was not survival friendly. It took a lot of redstone materials, but, so, um, well not, no but, but I went to YouTube's, the wonderful place of YouTube's, and just searched up a simple redstone elevator and this is I like this one um it's not gonna look like this obviously but I found this from Exuma Voyage channel particularly his second one um which he uploaded at recently actually September 7th well, um and it's compact and I like it, it each floor ha only takes like two observers yep each each floor takes two observers um we're gonna we are gonna have to make a lot of note blocks but that's easy, uh, like a repeater, uh, two sticky pistons, some redstone, and and one, what do you call it, powered rails each. And it's modular, which means we can build up as high as we want. And I'm going to show you how it works. Basically, it shoots you up, and it closes that, and then you can make a choice whether to go up or down. We can go down, it'll just bring us down. And like I said, it's modular, so we can do it as high as we want like this and obviously I don't have a third one set up because this is just an example um I'm probably not gonna build it out of wood blocks and this I am gonna use the arrow terracotta um I don't know which one it's magenta so hopefully Holden has magenta in his shop if not well then I don't know what to do so um it is it's not a lot of materials but you gotta remember we're gonna build 20 of them actually really 19 so it is going to be a challenge to get all of the materials especially like the observers I've never crafted an observer in my life and if it's like something ridiculous in the crafting recipe that's like rare I mean maybe not like an item star or something but oh item star wither star but I mean I really don't 
no so let, let's see how it goes so I gathered the materials and this is all that I should need for the first five floors and which is perfect because um with this elevator here it can only go up five floors I think one I mean I don't know if there's any private floors but uh, I'm not counting this because this the first two floors is the lobby so this is one this is two this is three this is four and then Luke's is five so yeah I have enough f materials for five floors which is awesome now unfortunately for Luke actually I, I did something wrong here hold on uh, three two four one two three four five one two three four five oh, okay I didn't do anything wrong never mind um unfortunately with Luke's floor he had a bunch of computers in the way and um since this is like the final floor that this elevator can possibly go we're probably gonna have to put another one here to go up which is a problem but I'm going to inform Luke don't worry he is on but he's AFK so I'm not gonna time lapse anything I'm just gonna build it and hopefully it's fine I only have four repeaters so I can only do four floors now that I'm thinking about it oh uh, no um so I I really don't know how this is gonna go. I I did, but purchase some white terracotta. We're gonna see how that goes, and then it should be good. So here we go. I wanna do a quick update. As in, um, I got three floors to the elevator done. Four if you count the flo next floor above, because you can still technically get up there. And I kind of ran into a bit of a problem and that I can't fix. I only have three. It's been like, uh, I don't know, it's been like a week. I, I mean, like, I ha got caught up with the Kevin Oddity and it got kind of messy, but basically I ran into a problem. So, this is the first floor, so obviously there's no down button. If we click up, the slime block doesn't come back up to catch you, and it's not because there's some delayed timing or something. I actually have no idea what's wrong. Um, this is like exactly the way it was built on the redstone testing world, except I tried using redstone instead of rails because I wanted to see if that worked, and it didn't. And it's not with it's with every floor. Out. So, well, okay. It's with every floor, and it, you can still like if you just like hop up here, it's fine. And I can't, I, I don't know, I mean, the down works okay, ish, but I really don't know what's wrong with it, so I am just going to like, I'm not going to build any more, oh, I'm not going to build any more until I can come up with a better way, and if I don't, then I'm just going to build this, because it's still functional, I mean, it's not like it completely doesn't work, but it, it would be nice to have it the way it should be. I'm pretty sure the people of Rules Tower will figure it out quick. So, we're going to take a break and. Wow. We're going to take a break and I do have some of these shops which is built in and the top, the, the floor above here is exactly the same. I think Luke, Luke bought this thing right here and I'm going to get one myself. I'm going to build it. Hmm, I, th I might as well build it here, you know. 8 by 9, 9 by 9, 8 by 8, yeah, medium size. So we're going to build a shop right here. And plus, uh, we're going to have to worry about this annoyingness right here from the stairs. And I am going to build a shop that I hope works. Because if you think about it, I don't make much revenue from shops. I have the chicken shop, which has not been doing too great. And we built the slime slash cactus farm, but it's a non-profit organization, so that we leave that there and I have been getting a few diamonds and iron rolled about uh, from rules tower and that and the shop that I do have but I need another shop and I'm going to build a spawn town shop but I'm also going to build one in here so we can have two shops and while I'm on the topic of that I want to share something that Luke has created he's doing the same thing with a new shop he's building and I kind of did not like his um his his sense of humor in his design of the shop. It's not done, but I'll show you what he has. 
So as you can see, this is my this is the only shop I do have, and the the pl the big plot that was behind here is uh, Luke's shop. So uh, th this is kind of his um shop design. Does it does it, does it, just I'm just curious. All right, guys, does this shop here look a tad bit familiar to this shop here? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'll, I'll go to the front and we can look at it. You know, it's just a tad bit different. Maybe. Who knows? It, it looks kind of similar, you know? It. I mean, it has all of the, uh, like, it has the slab features and, you know, yeah. Yeah. So, from what I've been told, Luke is building my shop block for block on the outside he's building the inside completely different which you know I'm gonna let him because technically this this the inside of this has not been finished as never was because I got caught up with my base then I had other projects see I added this thing here but we so we still have like all this back here this is still technically my old base and we haven't getting some business I have no idea what the beef about that is um I'm not sure, I kind of forget what he was making for this shot. Oh, he was making a, okay, he was making a steak shot. With similar chicken. And I don't, I don't know how he's going to price it. Because the, the problem with steak is that for the breeder, you, it's semi-automatic. Which means it works on its own, but you need to operate it. With my chicken machine, it runs 100% without me. It runs, well... Runs 100% of the time, and I can just go to the chest here, take out the chicken, and put it in the chest. That's all I need to do. I don't need to do anything. I can turn it on and off, and that's about it. And sometimes there is egg problems, but that that's not been happening recently. Um, But yeah, so he's having this shop here, and he's having the same one in Rules Tower. And what he told me was that the one in Rules Tower... Is going to be slightly cheaper than here because he wants people to go in rules tower and I'm like oh, okay great thanks Luke so we're gonna do the same thing except I'm not going to have different slight well, I, I'm not gonna have price changes what I want to do okay maybe I should explain my shop first you know my rare item shop here well forget about it I don't think I don't think I told you no I'm pretty sure I do I've been keeping a secret in this basement you know it's not finished you, you have all this, but I do do AFK fishing, and I have this down here. I'm pretty sure I should do this, and I did do some AFK fishing today, and I, I literally just collect them for the books, and then whatever I don't use, I throw down here to clear space, and I have so many chests. In fact, I recently did it today, and I have not cleared out all of the chests yet. But I was thinking, if you take a look at some of this, look, there's some bulls within bulls, there's some bows with infinity, and there's some fish and you know puffer fish and whatever. Well, there's name tags, and not everyone AFK fishes, and I take sa saddles are annoying me. I take saddles and name tags, and even string. That's a problem, and you know the books obviously have fortunes. Uh, trip wire hooks, you know, you name it. I mean, I don't know what people would want a lily pad for. And, you know, you just got some mob drops every now and then. And I was thinking we may, we make a shop like this and, you know, sell each book, whether it's good or bad, uh, one diamond each. Sell the, sell the fish, even like the puffer fish, and then sell, and sell like, you know, the tools. And you have like all the saddles and boots and uh, unstackable items in one chest and have fish and other crap and mob drops and it should be good and what I was planning on doing is not having the prices cheaper in rules tower because the prices are already way too cheap but have more items and better items and it's not going it's not as hard as you think to sort out I mean like probably have you know in the spawn town shop have you know all the fish and maybe some books and you know mob drops and then the rules tower can feature all of it and so we're doing in rules tower we're doing spawn town and there's another building we're going to build 
which is near the port um, of the Mocharv port. Um, if I'll show you, I'll sh I'll show you the Mocharv um, you know, dock port, whatever you want to call it, and it is it, it looks a bit bare. Uh, I will admit, and th this is the Mocharv dock. Uh, I think all the boats I've ac um, accidentally put over there. Yeah, uh, lively, isn't it? So we're going to build a dock. Don't worry, um, we're not building another naval base, but we're going to build a big dock, like an actual dock, because a lot of people actually use this. I use it a lot. Um, Luke uses it because he has when when we he has some sort of island that he used, and he goes over there. It can be communications with the naval base. Um, I didn't know. I'm pretty sure someone goes over that uh, that island has something over there, and I know Kevin uses it. So we're actually going to build one, and we're going to have a private dock for us because we're awesome. And we're going to ha the name I have for the shop is going to be called Mocharf Imports, and they get imported from here. And how you can have we can have roads and all that stuff. And plus, if I didn't want to waste fireworks to get over here every time I'm near the dock, I can just use a boat, and it should it should be okay. Um, none of which is going to be in the video. I'm I'm just going to build everything off camera. No time lapses. I'm sorry, it's not a traditional Mocharf video. Um, but I I just wanted. To you know, and I, I really, I really know. So I'm, a, we're gonna do some shop work and elevator, and then uh, the diner room. So let's go take a crack at it. Basic plans laid out. I have some stuff over from the uh, spawn thingy, spawn thingy, the uh, AFK fish farm. Um, I think I'm just gonna fill these three chests, and that'd be about it. I had stuff like sticks and like an unchanted fishing rod that I, just, I I'm not I'm just throwing out because that's just a that's just a waste really. Um, update on the elevator. I still cannot fix this problem here. I don't know what's wrong. So I think I actually really can't fix it. it I I've come I I'm like I'm looking through it and there's it's literally copied block for block. There's nothing I did wrong and it's probably the server side. It just doesn't respond quickly. I I really don't know, but there's nothing I can do about it. So we're just gonna have to keep it that way. It's not like it doesn't work. It still works, and stuff like that happens sometimes. But it still works. Like seriously, come on. So I'm gonna just get wall and decide what I'm gonna build with it. We'll build out of it, and we're gonna find out. Um, probably gonna use terracotta because I can just go get diamonds and buy it from holding shop, and plus. You know, it's just easy that way. Um, I, I, I gotta start to learn too when I'm buying terracotta, not just just buy from Holden Shop. If if it's red or orange or brown, just go to the Mesa buy them and dig it yourself because you save diamonds. But you know, whatever. Um, and then I guess we'll build the Spawn Town Shop afterward. <laughs> Okay, well that passed, nothing much happened, still the same really, it, it's fine, I'm not gonna like make it look pretty or anything, just the inside that matters, and no, nothing's really changed, except for something special, the elevator, um, I did work on the elevator, as we go up, whoa, that, that happened quick, um, as we go up, it goes, uh, it starts to go up, and it goes up until Luke's base here, because this is the change of the floor where we actually can't have the elevator here anymore, but I do have it, 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 well the plan was to have the other elevator start on this floor and go up. But since Luke's base is here, I don't want it to look even uglier than it is. Uh, we're, we're going to extend that up to here because I this floor has no purpose right now. And then I just have this little end thing there. And yeah, that that's all I really wanted to do. I wanted to just show you that. Um, it should be good. Uh, Luke's, I, I had to destroy a lot of these desks, unfortunately, but I'm not stealing them. I put them in a chest, and I told Luke where it was. Also, this is driving me insane. Just people, like, breaking the glass. I remember I, remember I said that in a video where people were just going to break the glass to exit, and I, I was right. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you that. Um, not, not, yeah, like, yeah that, that's basically what I wanted to show you. The note to leave on for the end of the episode is 
the Spawn Town Shop, which does look a small bit familiar. I'm going to get onto that. I, I did use an interesting kind of uh, setup. Again, it's not too big because it's not supposed to be really big. It's housing a few chests and signs and maybe a, you know, a chest for payments, you know, stuff like that. And it looks sort of different because take away most of the wood that I had extra and it looks kind of familiar and I'm going to kind of point you to um, why it looks familiar and why I went with the design and uh, you can already kind of see it. This is Holden's Terracotta Shop. This is the first and I think right now the only shop that he's built. Uh, it's the Mesa Biome Shop. You all know this uh, terracotta. Uh, I buy a lot from here. Everything you see missing or has diamonds came from me. Um, and I I think there's going to be a chain reaction going on here. Because I said earlier that Luke is copying my design. I'm going to copy Holden's design. And who knows what Holden's going to copy off me. Maybe he's going to make another uh, rare item shop. Just different rare items. Also, I just want to leave off to a note. In this episode, I was supposed to make a Santa hat for my Rules Tower. Um, this what that's what this is. Um, I didn't get to it, and I did have some recorded, and that's what that is. I'm scratching the entire thing because um, it's just too it's too much work. I, I I don't even know how to build a Santa hat. Um, but that that's why that's there. I'm just gonna take it down, and I'm going to return my terracotta. Hopefully, I get my diamonds back. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode here. Spawn Town has really been growing, and, you know, some shops have failed. Uh, but we're just going to leave here and maybe fix up a small bit. But this shop, I don't know. I'm kind of confident about My shop it doesn't do too well. I'll do, uh, doesn't do too well, and I'm not going to, I'm no offense, I'm not going to expect Luke's to do the same either. Not because no one cares. But really, because when people come to these shops, they look... E e okay, so I'm, I'm going to show you something. Look, Alright, this is my cooked meat, and I changed this so much. Look at this. All chicken, one iron for two stacks, one diamond for 16 stacks. So, what, nine? So, this right here. And I... that That's like... You can't, you can't beat that price. But other people has their own shops and, you know, uh, farms and... Automatics and I'm pr Holden gets chicken, but he doesn't buy it for me. So that's it's gonna it's a big problem. The Mochar server economy, it's not doing all that well. Uh, a lot of shop shops just fail. Like I mean, a lot of shops you can already tell would fail. But I mean, I never the food is something that I go through a lot, and it's a good thing I have that chicken farm. And so is fireworks. Maybe maybe I should make a fireworks shop. Holden, if you're watching, no, it's my idea first. But anyway guys, that's the end of this video here. Hopefully you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video.